guys, Chris Jones from the World's Worst Fishing. This is the uh, the fish cave, uh, as I affectionately refer to it. And uh, part of what we do is we also run and operate a small soft plastics bait company. Uh, Land is the limit soft plastics. So I figured I would uh, do a little video of, um, of our operation today. I've got to do a color match and it is a Strike King color called like smoke and shad or smoky shad you have kind of like a charcoal gray you know with some blue and silver flake and then a pearl bottom it's a laminate bait you know the the two colors and uh and the customer wants it in in our stogie worm which is our cinco worm so i'm going to be uh experimenting with this and making a few baits and uh decided i would take you guys along all right so now we have the plastic ready uh ready to prepare. So any soft plastic lure that you've ever seen started out basically as milk. Um, I wouldn't recommend drinking it. It's basically liquid PVC pipe. So to make the pearl bottom, we're literally just going to add pearl powder. And uh, you know, we experimented a lot with, um, you know, formulas to get, to get the proper effect and um, you know, so I mean, we just kind of do a quarter teaspoon per measuring cup of plastic. So we'll we'll do two of those because uh, because we measured out two cups. And then for the other side, for the smoky gray, um, I think what we need to do is just add a little bit of black because you don't want it. Um, and you, don't want it completely clear, but it needs to be a little bit charcoal. So we'll just do a little bit of black here. All right, and that's not very much. So that should give us a proper effect. And, uh, and then one of the things that we do for our plastics in our company is uh, we add a liquid additive to it it's actually a petroleum product and this keeps the plastic from scorching and burning during the heating process and it gives it kind of a, a pleasant smell um, we can scent our baits uh, to order if if the customer does request that but uh, they usually smell like like that I mean, I, which I think is pretty good so the next step is to mix everything up really 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 well Mix both sides. Yeah, that right there should give us a nice smoky charcoal. So one of the most important things uh, in making a soft plastic is keeping air bubbles out of your plastic. Not only do they weaken the integrity of the bait, but they also just look bad. So we actually take a vacuum chamber and we remove all the air from the chamber, including our plastic. Uh, that way, that way we don't get all these nasty air bubbles that you'll see in a lot of major brands. Another important step is your salt. Now that we have our plastic microwaved and heated up, we'll just kind of add this salt in. Stir as you go, because it will clump. Now this particular uh, customer, he's a good friend of mine. He uh, he doesn't like a whole lot of salt, um, so I, I put about half this amount, half a quarter of a cup, so an eighth of a cup of um, salt per measuring cup of plastic. Yeah, isn't that pretty? I think we've got something that'll work, folks. Now the key to a laminate bait is to have both your plastics, both cups of plastics at a similar temperature, and then you use a double injector. This is about a $300 piece of equipment, and it goes into a blending block, which shoots two streams of plastic into the uh, bait cavity at the same time. And that's how you get the, uh, that's how you get the, the two color effect. That one final stir. Give that one final stir. Oh, 
crawl up your plastic. Do the first mold. Oh, second mold. Third mold. Fourth mold. That's it. Now you just kind of let this dry. You let that dry and then we'll uh, open the molds and see how they turned out. So you can see how this blending block works. It, uh, it literally just takes the two streams of plastic and shoots the mold. So you have to know which way the baits are positioned inside your mold to know what half you want this color, what half you want that color. So yep, that's kind of kind of what you get. And so that is what you hope your bait looks like. Let's see what we have. There we go. And there it is. Top half is the charcoal sparkly half and the bottom half is the uh, the pearl. So there's your your color match, color match right there. And then uh, the final stage is to lay out your baits dry. You can actually keep them attached to that center piece that they were hanging from. That's known as a sprue. You can actually hang them from the sprues. Um, I just I just like to go ahead and separate them out and lay them flat to dry. That way they'll kind of cure straight uh, because the plastic is still uh, pretty soft and uh, you know they will firm up a little bit over the next 24 hours. So after that, we, uh, we basically package them, ship them off. So uh, that's pretty much, pretty much how we do it. Um, that, you know, it kind of may look easy at first, but uh, believe me, it's not. It, it can take quite a bit of practice to figure out how to prepare the plastic without ruining it, you know, how to maintain temperatures, how not to scorch your glitter. The laminating part isn't actually all that easy either. Um, you know, the years and years of practice. Um, but yeah, you know, definitely check us out. We've, uh, we've, got, some, we've got some pretty good baits uh, at pretty competitive prices and we can do color matches or custom colors if you just think up a color all on your own that you've never seen and let's say you want to see it in a fluke give us an email or, or shoot us an email give us a call uh, my numbers on our website landisthelimit.com and uh, you know we'll be happy to uh, try and cook up some magic for you guys but thanks for watching the world's worst fishing today something a little bit different and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video